I hope you're happy now. What? Sarah, remember her? I've known Jack the Leslie like you before, thinking they can play the field and get away with it. It's none of your business, is it? It's between me and her. You messed my daughter about, and believe me, I make it my business. I haven't messed Sarah about. You strung her along and went behind her back with that little Irish top because you couldn't get what you wanted. Well, that's not true. I haven't done anything wrong. And now you're making it worse by lying. I'm not! Sarah's better off without you. You just make sure you keep out of her way or you'll have me to deal with. All right. There you go, love. She's so excited. It's not that I don't want to help. Yeah, it'll only be for half an hour. Well, what about Ruth? Well, that's the whole point. Ruth's got to go to the doctor's at lunchtime, time, which is why I want to bring Jesse to cook for something to eat. Is there any chance we're doing any work today, love? Yeah, sorry. What do you reckon, Pat? Can you spare her for half an hour at lunchtime? No, not really. It's our busiest period. Please, just this once. All oh, right, I suppose I'll manage. You're a star. I'll see you at the store at 12 o'clock. Sure. Sure. Two coffees to take out, preferably sometime before Christmas. All right, love. I've just got time for a quick cuppa before we go to work. Do you want one? Didn't they have whole wheat? It's not what you want, then I'll change. Don't worry, it don't matter. No, I might as well get something right, huh? Oh, you've got to pull yourself together, darling. You can't let him see he's got to you. I don't think I'm ever going to trust a man ever again. Come on, they're not all losers like Joe Wicks. I really thought he was different. Yeah, we've been so close. We all make mistakes. You'll learn with experience. You've got to understand, men and women can never just be friends. Oh, why not? Because there's always another agenda. What do you mean? Do I really need to spell it out? But you told me you loved me. Oh, come on. Have a good cry, you'll feel better. But I just feel so stupid. But there's nothing for you to feel stupid about. I tell you what, why don't we go up west and indulge in a little retail therapy? Oh, no thanks. And our fab little cafe just off Oxford Street does all that little vegetarian stuff you like. No, I'd rather go for a walk. I need to think. Oh, sweetheart, I really no. think yours. See you later, Mum. Hello, stranger. We missed you at the refuge yesterday. Yeah, I, uh, I wasn't feeling very well. Nothing serious, I hope. Are you sure? I don't know what to do, Alex. I'm just so confused. Could he, Alex, with her? I'm afraid I can't give you the answer to that one. I thought you understood my feelings and that you could wait until we were married before we... Would you, if you weren't a vicar? What are we talking about here? You know. You mean have a sexual relationship? Mm. Well, I did before coming to the ministry. But would you now? Celibacy before marriage is a personal choice. Well, I believe it's right. For you. But isn't that what God expects? Temptation of the flesh is one of the big ones in the Bible, yeah? We're all individuals with different feelings, different priorities. Sometimes we choose to follow our instincts. But what if we realise what we did wasn't for the best? That doesn't make us bad people. It just reminds us that we're human and we make mistakes. We appreciate you helping me out like this. Go on, you're going to be late. I'll see you later. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, Joe! Leave me alone. Will you just give me five minutes, please? I've been looking all over the place. You were not your family, so what do you want? You let me explain. All right, then, I'm listening. Nothing happened between me and Mary. I swear it's the truth. So you don't feel anything for her? You do, don't you? So you can't even tell me the truth now! Sarah, please! Leave me alone, all Will right? Will you just listen Get to me? me. Your home, Ali? Yeah, a couple of clients cancelled. Have you been here all day? No, went for a walk. Do you fancy seeing a film tonight? Not really, Mum, I'm a bit tired. Well, maybe we could get a video out then. Yeah, whatever. Have you seen Sarah? No, um, I think she's at the refuge. Well, why don't you give her a call and invite her around for something to eat this evening? We could have a takeaway. She's, she's working late, so... Oh, well, another time, eh? Yeah. Man, what do you reckon? Nah, too skinny. Nah. What about her then, eh? Very cultic looking, just your type. Oh, I've heard there's going to be some serious talent with this dude tonight. Oh, 
No. No way. Oh no, his lucky shirt. He claims that every time he wears it, he scores, don't you, Lenny? So what's happening tonight? Oh, my uh, mate's band's playing in Camden. Gonna be a party afterwards. Do you want to come? Mm. I mean, I'm sure it'll be no problem to get your name on the guest list, will it, Lenny? Maybe I can stretch it. Thanks, I don't think so. It's a terrific band. Tip to be the next big thing. Um, yeah, well, I'm not really in the mood. But I wouldn't mind hanging out at your place for a bit. Could do with a few hours on my own. OK, your loss. Fashion alert! <laughs> I do close you. Hey, this is the fashion police. Put down your underwear and move away. <laughs> You should choose your company more carefully, young lady. One of these days it might land you in deep water. What are you talking about? Enjoy your little jaunt to Bolton, did you? Sarah came back this afternoon crying her eyes out again. Well, you've got what you wanted. As far as we're concerned, you can keep him. You've got it all wrong. I know what I saw. My daughter deserves more than that low life. Trash is what he deserves. And trash is what he's got. You okay? Yeah, just leave it. The thing that hurts the most is that I've always stood by Joe. You know, from when he was ill, I was there for him, and this is how he repays me. Yeah, it's hard. And we were engaged, but it made no difference. I suppose you're just not ready to make a commitment. Well, I'm hardly the authority when it comes to advice on successful relationships. Oh, I'm sorry, Auntie Kath. I didn't mean to go on. Oh, it's all right. I just wish I had some answers for you. Maybe if I did, my life wouldn't be such a mess. We're not doing a very good job of cheering each other up, are we? Pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> I know just what we need. Where are you going? I'm going out to buy the biggest tub of chocolate ice cream I can find. I was uh, just passing her. Wondered if you fancy coming for a drink. Uh, I won't if you don't mind. But stay another couple while you're here. Oh, that'd be great. Having a quiet night in, then. Yeah, I want to make the most of the time I've got left here. Spend as much of it as possible with Joe. He seems a bit down at the moment. Nothing serious, is it? He's not ill, if that's what you mean. Well, he's probably upset about you going back to Bolton. Yeah, the thought had crossed my mind. I hope I'm doing the right thing, leaving him here on his own. Well, don't worry, we'll all keep an eye out for him. Oh, I'd really appreciate that. I just wish he'd talk to me. I don't seem to be able to get through to him at the moment. Well, sometimes it's hardest to say how you feel to the people you're closest to. I know. But if he is worried, I'd rather he said something. He's probably scared in case he upsets you. Yeah, you could be right. I'll have a word with him if you like. Would you? Well, I understand how it feels. I'm going to miss you too. What do you want? Siren. You've got some nerve showing your face, man, haven't you? I just want a quick world of her. Well, she ain't here, and you're lucky my mum ain't here either. She's gunning for you. What time you about Sarah's gutted, you know that. I know. She deserves more than that, Joe. Look, I just need the chance to speak to her properly. Well, before you do, I suggest you think about what you're going to say, because it's going to take more than an apology to sort this lot out. You! Lenny. You see Mary? Yeah, she's, uh, she's back at the squat. She wanted some time alone. Right, cheers. Look, I'd watch it if I were you. What do you mean? She's already been hurt once today. Come in. Yeah, sure. It's good. Candles in there. It's not perfect. Um, Bob went, I couldn't find another one. Take a few. I saw you and Lenny you said you were here. Yeah, they've gone out to a party in Camden. That's them out for the night. It feels really weird in this light, don't it? Yeah, candlelight helps you see things more clearly, I think. Does Sarah know you're here? No. I'm glad you'll be back at a refuge tomorrow. Yeah, it would do me good to have something else to think about. You're feeling better about things? Well, I'm much calmer now that I've had time to think, and talking to you and Aunt Nikath has really helped. Come to the decision yet? Only that I know we need to talk. You know, I'd be really unfair not letting him tell me his version of what happened. Good. 
Tom, I was getting back. Okay. <coughs> well, thanks, Alex. You've been great. Say bye to Kathy for me. I managed to get Ben off to sleep at last. Alex said to say bye. Oh, has he gone already? Hmm. As far as Sarah's concerned, it's over. I'm sure her mum hasn't helped anything. I mean, can say what she likes. I mean, we haven't done anything wrong. I just wish she would believe me. If I hadn't followed you to build, none of this would have happened. Maybe Sarah's just been looking for an excuse to end it. Do you think so? I don't know what I think anymore. You don't only know for sure if you talk to her. I've tried. She won't listen. Give her time. I mean, what if she never wants to see me again? She wasn't just my fiance. She was... She's my best man. And you should have been honest with her. I was. Were you? Yeah. Then why won't you believe you when you say nothing happened in Bolton? I don't know. And why didn't you tell her about all the time we'd been spending together? I thought she'd be jealous. What she got to be jealous of? Really sorry, Murray. <laughs> what do you mean? We shouldn't have done this. It was a mistake. But I thought you. I'm really sorry, but I can't. I can't help the way I feel about Sarah. <laughs> 